Welcome to Blue Lizard Farm. We created this series to help future farmers in Southern Nevada learn from our mistakes. The farmer needs to understand the different types of growing space, outdoor growing, hoop house growing, greenhouse growing, or kind of potics. Water rights are complicated in Nevada, and we need to have a basic understanding of, of those water rights In order to sell from your small micro farm, you've got to have water rights. It's important to work out all of the financial end before you spend the money. And then you have to have a business plan in order to get a farm loan, whether it's from an agricultural bank. If you get rejected from them, then you can go to the FSA. But if you don't have a good plan, nobody's gonna wanna lend you money. In Nevada, we can get $50,000 worth of hoop houses. And that's where we got our other 10 much larger hoop houses, a 30 feet wide instead of 10 feet wide, same 96 feet long. And so that program continues to this day. And it's a great program. Yeah, reinventing the wheel. I've tried that, and uh, what I've found is that it takes more time for me to figure out and build something than it is to find what's already out there and available for specialty crop growers. Weeds are always going to be an issue, and in the hoop houses, you can even get it down to, I will never say 100% on weeds, but I think you can you know, get your weed situation under control 95%. The seed companies and, and seed developers are always coming up with new crops. For instance, with our spinach, we buy varieties that stand straight up so that we can cut them well. We also buy varieties of spinach that grow really well in the winter time and also grow pretty well when it gets starts to get hot, right? They don't bolt as fast. In my opinion, the reason that conventional farming gets such a bad rap is because they continue to plant the same crops over and over again and do heavy tillage. When you turn the soil, you're turning all your microbes upside down. So you're killing them off because you're burying the ones that are surface of microbes and you're bringing the low microbes to the surface. The most important thing that we can do for any crop that we grow is post-harvest handling. But for us in our greens, we come out, we cut um, usually about 25, 30 pounds, and we rush it right in to go into our greens washer that chills the crop very quickly and removes that filled heat. Farming is hard. It's stressful. Um, it's usually heavily debt laden. And so there's a lot of pressure on the fighters. If you like the content here, please subscribe. If you have questions, comment down below.